Memory is the workspace for the processor. It is a temporary storage area where the programs and data being operated on by the processor must reside. Memory storage is considered temporary because the data and programs remain there as long as the computer has electrical power or is not reset. Before the computer is shut down or reset, any data that has been changed in memory should be saved in a more permanent storage device, usually a hard disk, so it can be reloaded into memory in the future. Main memory is normally called random access memory because you can randomly as opposed to sequentially access any location. This designation is somewhat misleading and often misinterpreted. Read-only memory or ROM, for example, is also randomly accessible, yet it is usually differentiated from the system RAM because it maintains data without power and can't normally be written to. Although a hard disk can be used as virtual random access memory, we don't consider that RAM either. Over the years, the definition of RAM has changed from a simple acronym to become something that means the primary memory workspace the processor uses to run programs, which usually is constructed out of a type of chip called dynamic RAM. One of the characteristics of DRAM chips, and therefore most types of RAM in general, is that they store data dynamically, which really has two meanings. One meaning is that the information can be written to RAM repeatedly at any time. The other has to do with the fact that DRAM requires the data to be refreshed every few milliseconds or so. Faster RAM requires refreshing more often than slower RAM. A type of RAM called static RAM does not require the periodic refreshing. An important characteristic of RAM in general is that data is stored only as long as the memory has electrical power. When we talk about a computer's memory, we usually mean the RAM or physical memory in the system, which are the memory chips or modules the processor uses to store primary active programs and data. This is confused with the term storage, which should be used when referring to things such as disk drives. RAM can either be referred to the physical chips that make up the memory in the system and the logical mapping and layout of that memory. Logical mapping and layout refer to how the memory addresses are mapped to actual chips and what address locations contain which types of system information. Memory temporarily stores programs when they are running, along with the data being used by those programs. RAM chips are sometimes termed volatile storage because when you turn off your computer or an electrical outage occurs, whatever is stored in RAM is lost unless you save it to your hard drive. Because of the volatile nature of RAM, many computer users make it a habit to save their work frequently, a habit I recommend. Many software applications perform periodic saves automatically to minimize the potential for data loss. Physically, the main memory in a system is a collection of chips or modules containing chips that are usually plugged into the motherboard. These chips or modules vary in their electrical and physical designs and must be compatible with the system into which they are being installed to function properly. A dual rank DIMM has two complete 64-bit wide chips logically stacked so that the memory module is twice as deep. This requires chips to be on both sides of the module. Therefore, the term double-sided often indicates that a module has two ranks, often shown as 2R on the RAM chip. Single-rank modules, often known as 1R, have chips physically mounted on one side of the memory module. SDR DIMMs use a completely different type of presence detect, called Serial Presence Detect, or SPD. The Serial Presence Detect is information stored on a double EEPROM or electronically erasable programmable read-only memory chip when a computer is booted. It is located on the RAM module and communicates to the BIOS the module size, data width, speed, and voltage, which are used to configure the module memory controller for maximum reliability and performance. RAM is a very important consideration when building a gaming PC because it is an active participant while gaming. While the processor and graphics card do all the calculations, the RAM stores needed variables and content. 
The RAM is an active participant because once the game is loaded into it, information is constantly being read and stored. The processor and graphics card request information from the memory, do the calculations, and store the results back into the RAM. If you're wondering why RAM is being used instead of the hard drive directly, it's because it is a lot faster and is meant to store temporary items, that is, game files, programs, etc. If you install one stick of RAM in your computer and boot the PC, it will be running in a single channel configuration. If two sticks of RAM are installed, they will be running in a dual channel configuration. Same goes for four sticks of RAM, they could be running in a quad channel configuration. Quad channel configurations depend on whether or not the motherboard chipset supports quad channel memory. Typically, the modern configuration is dual channel, even though two or four sticks of memory is installed.